Hey everyone, today I wanted to bring to your attention three plugins that are not only free, but are of high quality in sound and usefulness. These plugins were developed by Variety of Sound, and I will have a link in the description below to their website where you can find the plugins. Let's not waste any more time and let's get into it. The first plugin I will start with is the Baxter EQ. This is a very simple plugin to use and very effective. You have left to right mid site processing, and you can link and unlink all EQ parameters. You also have a volume output knob on both sides. The cut, shelf, low frequency, and high frequency knobs are fixed as far as selecting frequencies. Think of the Mag EQ or the Dangerous Music Bax EQ, for example. This EQ is transparent and is best used for a mix bus or in a mastering chain. Here is the listening test. Next, we have the Density Mark III, a two bus compressor slash limiter. This plugin is not transparent and does add some color to your two bus processing. The manual sums it up this way. The Density Mark III was primarily designed to work in a typical stereo audio group mixing situation or while summing 
and to glue all things together in a rather unobtrusive way. I find this to be a very concise description. So let's go over the controls. First, we have the range button, which adjusts the gain reduction. Now, important thing to note, this plugin does not have a neutral position. So even if the range is turned all the way down, there is still some reduction happening. The manual says around 5%, so keep note of that when you're demoing or testing this plugin. Next, we have the drive knob, which increases the gain in the sidechain path. The timing knob has six different attack and release combinations, which are predetermined for you. Also be aware of that when you're testing this plugin. The makeup knob, of course, is to increase the audio level after the compression. There are also a few small screw-like knobs that are easy to overlook. You have the link knob, which links the two channels in the sidechain path. You have the color knob, which basically adds more color to the sound. You have the dry wet knob, which obviously means the mix of dry to wet signal. And then you also have strict and relax, which is a very important knob because it changes the character of the compression similar to attack time. The more relaxed, the more you get punch. The more strict, the more it controls dynamics similar to brick wall limiting. The filter switch turns the filter for the side chain on or off. The internal external switch feeds the side chain input signal from internal or external channels. The compressor slash limiter switch changes the compression modes. And here by the stereo button, we can of course decide if we're gonna process in stereo, left, right, or mid side mode. So let's take a listen to see what kind of sounds we can get out of this plugin.
The last plugin on the list that I have to share with you is the Ferric TDS. TDS stands for Tape Dynamics Simulator. So this is a saturation plugin with some compressor slash limiter type effects and features. This plugin, as you can see, does not have as many knobs compared to the density, which we have just looked at. We have the dynamics knob, which increases a compression type of an effect. You have saturation, which increases the harmonic content. You have limiter for controlling peak performance, recovery, which acts as a release time, trim for adjusting signal output, the SC off slash 250 hertz. That's the high, uh, that is the, the SC off 250 hertz, which is high pass filter control for the side chain. And then you have a cal button, which stands for calibration. And what this button does is it imitates the calibration process of a tape machine. So you can adapt to the required gain staging. In layman's terms, you're setting the threshold for how hot the signal is going into the plugin. The lower the threshold, the hotter the signal. Now for a listening test. What are your thoughts on these plugins and how do they sound to you? I highly recommend downloading and using these plugins. They are free after all, and the quality in these plugins is better than the quality of some of the plugins that we actually pay for. Until next time, happy mixing.